everyone. I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus laptop. This one is an Asus VivoBook Pro model 15. The exact model is an E1504G and that information can be found inside the BIOS or on the bottom sticker on the box. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the CPU repaste and clean up the fan system. If yours is running a little bit hot and you just feel like it's not blowing any air from the back end or it's not sucking up or just overheating and it's shutting down or something like that, then you might want to replace your thermal paste and clean up the fan system. You should be doing your own servicing once every couple of years or at least a year and a half, I'll say. Don't let it go. After a year and a half, you open it up, you know how clean, how dirty it is, then you know I should do it often or I should increase the timing up to two years. All depends on the usage that you give. All right. Just please remember by doing any replacement of the thermal paste or cleaning, you're not going to change any configuration. Everything's going to be the same way that you left it. So no worries there. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and I'll leave the links in the tools, all of them in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. All right, so first thing first, we want to power it off. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We are going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, just get the simple set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a Guitopic and Metallic Guitopics are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need an alcohol, 99%, 98% isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol, nothing under that. One sheet of the workshop towel. The reason I always use workshop towel because as soon as you put an alcohol right on top of this one and you want to clean the CPU and the components, this one will rip apart and will not damage the components. Compared to a microfiber towel that people always use, that can tangle around the capacitor, tiny capacitors, and they can rip them apart. So that's why I always use this one. All right, a good thermal paste is a mask. I'll be using an iFix MX4. You can get an Arctic, M Arctic MX6. If you want to go over, kill over the budget, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. This one right here, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, is way expensive, but you don't need it for this CPU, for this model. Arctic MX4 is more than enough. All right, with all this set, we're going to get it started. So on the bottom here, you can see a whole bunch of screws. There's only one long screw, which is at the back mid. So go ahead and remove that one and put it in one tile. And now the rest of the screws, including the one in the middle, these are the short screws. So keep them in a different pile. Go ahead and start from one corner and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos. Take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover right here. Just find anywhere on the front end. Just move it around and then you find it right there. Stick it right there about one or two millimeters and then you just want to twist it around. Until you hear those nice big click sounds are moving around like this until the clips are they're getting loose. So you want to do the front end, do the same thing on the side, don't stick the whole guitar pick in there, just about one or two millimeters. I'm skipping this USB port while I'm putting a tension in here, going all the way back to the audio jack right in there, and there we go. And we got the back corner. Now you want to do the same thing on the other side. Move it around, bring it to the back corner, and release. Once you did the front and on the side, the rest is super easy. Just grab it from the corner, wiggle it around, and it will click and snap the release the back in. You can take it outside, clean it with a toothbrush, used or new toothbrush to blow some air, or you can include, you can wash it out and leave it for dry if you want to. And down here we have the motherboard and the whole system. It is brand new laptop, it's just for which there's no use on it. If your fans are really, really dirty, you can use a toothbrush right in here and clean it. But if you want to remove it, first you need to remove the heatsink. You cannot remove the fan without removing the heatsink, but it hooks right underneath the heatsink. First thing first, you want to grab a plastic rod. You want to open up the lock for the battery right there. And then you want to put this one 
underneath the battery as much as you can put it in there and then you just want to rotate like this so i'll do that and it will just snap release the battery bring the cable to one side we want to remove four screws for the heatsink once you remove the four screws for the heatsink you want to remove three screws for the fan now you want to pull this fan connector backward gently don't if you see just gently i'm working it around i'm pulling it back if it's not coming out don't stress it i'll show you how so we're gonna leave that one in here we're gonna lift up the heatsink bring it up and we're gonna repaste take it outside use a toothbrush clean up open up the passage right through here you can include it in, wash this one out leave it for dry if you want to and grab the fan untangle this wi-fi connectors right in here if yours your jack is not coming up don't put any more tension in here what you want to do in here you want to grab a tweezers and you want to pull the connector right in here right where the cables are and you want to work it around and uh, i have the camera right in front of me so let me see if I can show you guys like this. I'll bring it here. So I'll put it in there. I'm waving it around and I can release this. Okay, just slide it towards the fan. All right. Now that we've got it out, you can take it outside again. Clean it out with a toothbrush, move it around and blow some air. Open up and don't wash this one. Don't put any water on this one. So yeah. To repaste, grab one sheet of the corner of the workshop towel a little bit. You want to put an alcohol and you want to wipe the CPU. There's a two crystal die on the CPU because one of them is the CPU and the second one is called a PCS chip. Uh, before they used to have the PCS chip on a different chip somewhere on the board, now they bring it on the same CPU die on the same chip. Grab the heatsink and wipe the thermal paste. If you're nice and clean, grab yourself the syringe for the new one. Put one drop on the main and on the second die put a second drop in there. You don't you can put as much as you want. It's not conductive. So don't worry about it. It's just one raindrop, one tiny drop, like a water drop, but like that. That's how much I put. That's more than enough. So before we put the heatsink in, I'm gonna put the fan in. Grab the connector, it slide it right in there, and then I'm gonna pinch it inside the connector. Make it goes all the way in. I have no idea why they make it such a tiny connector. You can tangle down the Wi-Fi connectors right in there or just leave it. There's a lot of real estate in here to leave them right there so they're not going to go anywhere. So I just put one tiny hook in there but if you want to be really fancy about it, just move around, bring it up and down, down, up. And there we go. Maybe like that. Put the three screws for the fan. Grab the heatsink. Align it. Put this side down too first, but if in front of the fan, bring it down and put it right over. Now what you want to do, you want to cross and screw this heatsink. So I'm gonna hold there, I'm gonna cross, put number three, four, two, one, or one, two, three, four. You can follow the numbers or just as long as you cross and screw them, you're more than fine. That's the reason for cross screwing or the numbering in here is to in order to spread the thermal paste evenly over the CPU. Right. Now that we put the thermal paste in there all done, ready? You're gonna bring the connector for the battery, align it, and push it down, pull the jack over. Make sure it's nice and snugly right there. 
You can power on the laptop just like this to see if it's turning on. You don't have to put the bottom cover, so I'm gonna power it on and to see if it's turning on. So because we disconnected the battery, it might take to five to ten seconds for it to do a RAM check or MEM check. So there we go. I don't see the fan spinning yet, but I do get a logo and it's loading up the the laptop. So I'm, you can wait a little bit for the heating to to heat up, and you're gonna see the fan starts spinning. We can wait for that to make sure that it's connected nicely, properly in there. While I is in there, it's already powered on. I haven't powered it up. I think if I close up the screen, it's gonna go on a suspension. Or hibernation so I'm gonna grab the bottom cover and you don't have to power it on don't don't risk it you can power on but after putting up the cover so put up the bottom cover straight right over push down the corner the back make sure you hear those big click sounds that's what you want to hear on the side. if you see any gap opening just pinch them together and it will go to its place put the bottom back end the screw Put the screws in the corner and the rest of the screws. And this is how you can open up and service up your ASUS VivoBook Go 15 model. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.